Hello everybody. There are some pretty awful videos out there on how to remove the T-Con board from the Samsung LNS 4692DX slash XAA. I had this set open and I was just getting ready to button it up and I thought, you know what, I'll just shoot a video to just help some folks out in getting the T-Con board out correctly. By the way, if you're removing the T-Con board because everything you've read says that if you have backlight and you have audio but no picture, replace the T-Con board. Well, in my case, that's exactly the symptom I had. I had audio. I had a, Sometimes I had a brief picture. Um, I had backlight that would initially turn on and shut off. And uh, it turned out not to be the T-Con board. It turned out to be... Uh, two boards. One, the power supply had an issue. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can see the video I posted out there which shows uh, the voltages that you might want to check on this power supply. But in my case it turned out to be uh, a bad inverter board. So there's one here on the right and one on the left. Uh, the one on the right I'm still working on a little bit but I know that's the issue. I've swapped the good board in and it works. But this, this video is really all about now, how to remove the, the T-Con board correctly. So the first thing you want to do, there are four screws across the top here, holding this bracket in. So one, two, three, four. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get to the screw. You can't see it, but it's located right here in the center of the T-Con board. And there are all kinds of bad ideas out there. Drill a hole through the top of this to access that screw. Come in with a pair of vice grips. Grab a hold of that screw. It's a lot of work to get it off the wrong way. So all you do is you loosen up the bolts with arrows here, the shiny bolts with arrows. So there's one here, there's one over here, one here, and uh, one down here. I would loosen up these two bolts right here, or two screws directly below the main control board and below the power supply. Come over to this side, there's another shiny silver screw here, here, and um, here. Again, there's an arrow pointing to those. That will allow this frame here to move up and down. So that's part of the, the equation and getting to remove the T-Con board. The other part of the equation is loosen all the screws holding this frame. So there's, uh, I don't think the one on the corner matters, but the ones running down the side, so there's one right here, 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 and here. There may be some across the bottom, but you loosen those up and then similarly up, up along this side. You loosen those up. Again, I don't remember whether you take the corner one out or not. But that will allow everything to lift up. Uh, you gotta remove the four screws protecting the T-Con cover. When you get the cover off, you're gonna see there's this one connector here. There are two ribbon connectors here at the top. You gotta flip a little latch up with your fingernail and gently remove those ribbon cables. When you lift the frame up, and I would definitely recommend working with the TV set with the face of this lying down flat. I just happen to have this upright for some other things that I was doing, but it's not the ideal position to work on it. Uh, you ought to work on it with it lying down flat. Uh, but once you're able to lift this away, you'll be able to, re to remove the cover. So that's the reason for removing these silver screws. It's so you can get access to take the cover off. Uh, once you get the cover off, you'll see there's another cover underneath and it's the screw back here that you're trying to get to. So then you'll be able to lift the whole frame up from the set just an inch or two and access that screw right about here with your screwdriver. You only need to lift it this far 
You don't need to lift it all the way out. You need to lift this frame here about two inches, less than two inches, call it an inch and a half to be able to gain access to this screw. So once you get that screw off, the, the cover that's underneath here will uh, be able to come off. And then lastly, when you put it all back together again, it's pretty likely that the adhesive on the back side of this foil is, is going to be compromised. So just get yourself a roll of, uh, I guess let's call this air conditioning duct, foil back tape, and put the original foil back in place and then cover it up with new foil and new adhesive and uh, it'll be good as new there. That's how you gain access to the TCON board. And again, if your symptoms are audio, you have audio, no picture, backlight turns on briefly. My solution was a power supply fix and one of the inverter boards. Hey, if this video helped you out at all, I'd really appreciate a subscription to my channel. Thanks for watching.